Hey guys, guess what? So my new mollies are coming this Friday. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to show you guys. I'm going to go live pro possibly when I get them. Um, and they're coming kind of late. So um, if you guys want to come on around like 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, I should have them. I will let you guys know. If there's any changes or anything like that, um, depending on what time I'm going to get them. But I'm so excited because these are wild co-op mollies in Florida. And what's really cool is that like they're, they have dots all over them, like circles. And that kind of looks like stripes going from their, that, their head, I think, to their tail. Um, or their gills to their tail. And then what's also really cool is that they um, create a social or create a thing in the tank where like, okay, you see a molly here, right? But that molly, it basically they create something um, that I haven't seen in, or heard of in really any molly and um they basically ha can control the size of the male molly if there is another male in the aquarium so basically your next male your male that you get as a baby like so these are going to be from my understand these are going to be very small mollies um, say often mollies, uh, I'm getting one male, two females, and they're going to be really young, so it's not going to really, per se, matter now, but I think as they breed, and as they have babies in this aquarium, they will have smaller males, so I'm going to try to maybe keep a line here to, oh, lot of more like less fish depending on what I want to do with my tanks. Obviously the South and Molly is a wild Molly so they do get pretty big and they range from let's see if I get this right all the way from Florida to New Mexico and they are saltwater and freshwater fish so they're brackish water um, fish.